Hi, I'm Mr. V. Welcome to Story Club. The ocean is full of amazing creatures. Today we're going to learn about how some of them hunt for food and escape danger. Join us as we read Weird, Wild, and Wonderful Marine Creatures. If you have your own copy, go ahead and grab it now so you can read along with us. Weird, Wild, and Wonderful Marine Creatures by Carrie Nagel and Kathy Atkinson. Ocean Life The ocean is a strange and amazing place. Many weird and wonderful animals live there. Some, like seahorses, are tiny. Others, like whales, are the biggest creatures on Earth. The ocean has a wide range of habitats. Each habitat is special and unusual. The bottom of the ocean is very different from the seashore. Coral reefs are very different from the open sea. Each habitat has its own animals and plants that live there. They are all suited to live in their special home. In the wild, all animals face the same problems. They must find food and shelter, protect themselves from being eaten, and breed. Special body shapes and parts help animals cope with their environment. So do special ways of behaving. Shark Senses Sharks are fish that have been around since before dinosaurs. They live in oceans all over the world. Some even live in rivers and lakes. Sharks have wonderful senses. They can see and hear very well. They can even hear some low sounds that humans can't hear. They also have a sharp sense of smell. Some sharks can smell their prey from almost one mile away. Sharks have another weird sense, too. Animals give off tiny bits of electricity. Sharks can sense this electricity. It helps them track their prey. Some sharks hatch from eggs. Most, though, are born live. Shark parents don't look after their young. All young sharks are on their own from birth. Some sharks are wild predators even before they are born. When they are growing inside their mother, the sharks start to eat each other. Only one or two will live to get born. Fishing for food Fish have many clever ways of catching their food. Moray eels have a wild way of eating. They actually have two sets of jaws. One set is in the mouth. It grabs hold of the prey. The second set is in the throat. These jaws reach forward and pull the prey down the throat so it can be swallowed. Frogfish stay very still to catch their food. When a crab, shrimp, or octopus passes by, they pounce. They open their mouths wide and swallow their prey whole. Sawfish have a weird snout that looks like a saw. They use it to stun their prey with blows. When an anglerfish wants food, they go fishing. Females have a wonderful fin. It looks like a fishing rod with a bait at the end. The anglerfish waves the bait around. Thinking it's a tasty treat, its prey comes closer. In a flash, the anglerfish sucks its prey into its big mouth. Mates for life. The seahorse is very different from other fish. It is covered with bony armor, not scales. The top of its head is like a crown. This is called a coronet. The seahorse is a slow swimmer. It uses its curled tail to hold on to seaweed. This keeps it from getting swept away by sea currents. Seahorses can change color to help them hide from their enemies. They change color to send messages too. Most seahorses mate for life. Each morning the female swims over to her mate. They both change color. Next, they do a special dance. Then they swim off and go about their daily tasks. A weird thing about the seahorse is that the male has the babies. The male keeps the female's eggs inside his body. The babies hatch, then they come out of his pouch. Monster Shells You can often find empty shells on the beach that were once the homes of sea snails. Bailers are sea snails. They have some of the biggest shells of all. Their wonderful, glossy shells have beautiful patterns. 
Balers are wild carnivores. They eat small marine animals, even other sea snails. Balers crawl around on a weird large foot. Some balers also use this foot to catch prey. A baler has a soft tube that sticks out from under its shell. Water is sucked in through the tube. The baler tastes the water to check for food nearby. Armed and Dangerous Octopuses have eight arms and a soft body. They are wild hunters. They eat fish, crabs, scallops, and other sea animals. They even eat other octopuses. An octopus grabs its prey with his arms and bites it with its strong beak. Octopuses have three hearts. Two hearts pump blood through the gills. The other pumps blood through the body. An octopus protects itself in wonderful ways. It squirts black ink into the water when it is scared. This hides the octopus so it can escape from enemies. The octopus can change colors to help it blend into its surrounding. If it is attacked, the octopus can also drop off an arm. Octopuses move slowly as they crawl or swim, but sometimes they need to move fast. They send a burst of water through a tube called a siphon. This shoots them through the water like a jet ski. Small and deadly. This small but deadly blue ring octopus lives in the oceans off Australia. It is the most poisonous octopus in the world. This octopus has blue rings on each of its eight arms. When it feels scared, the blue rings light up. That's a warning to others. I'm wild. Stay away. The octopus has two types of poison. One poison is used on its prey. This poison stops the prey from moving. The other poison defends the octopus from attack. This poison can kill a human. Sometimes the octopus bites and poisons its prey. Sometimes it shoots poison into the water. The poison is soaked up by its prey. The female octopus is a wonderful mother. She carries her eggs under her arms. She looks after her eggs very carefully. She sprays water over them to clean them. After the eggs hatch, the mother dies. The baby octopuses must look after themselves. Long Distance Swimmers Marine turtles are reptiles. They have lived in the oceans for 100 million years. They have a large shell. They also have a small head and four strong flippers. Green turtles are wonderful swimmers. They feed in the ocean but make their nests on land. It can be a very long way between the two places. When it is time to lay their eggs, the females leave the sea. They dig a hole in their sand with their flippers. They lay the eggs in the hole and cover them with sand. Then they go back to the sea. After 64 days, the eggs hatch. The sex of the babies depends on the temperature of the sand. Eggs laid in cooler sand turn into males. Females hatch from eggs laid in hotter sand. The newborn turtles must trek down to the sea. This is a dangerous time. Birds and crabs feed on the young turtles on the beach. In the water, sharks are waiting for them. Many young turtles die at this time. Flippers and fur. Sea lions are mammals. They live on shore but feed in the ocean. In the water, they are fast and graceful. Their wonderful front flippers speed them along. The back ones are used for steering. On land, sea lions move about on all four flippers. The water where sea lions live can be very cold. They have two layers of fur to keep them warm. They also have a layer of fat called blubber. Out of the water, they love to soak up the sun. Sea lions like to live in groups called colonies. Most of the time, they are friendly and playful. But at breeding time, male sea lions often fight each other. They make weird barking and growling sounds at each other. They want to be in charge of as many females as they can. In the past, people hunted sea lions. Now they are protected by law. There are about 10,000 sea lions in the wild. Remember this. 
Many ocean animals move through the water to find food. Fishes swim with the help of fins and a tail. Sea turtles paddle the water with flippers. Octopuses move quickly by shooting water out of a tube called a siphon. This acts like a jet engine. Once ocean animals find a meal, they use other body parts to catch it and eat it. Oh, the oceans are filled with so many interesting creatures. If you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button and click the red subscribe button down below. Until next time, keep reading.